is production of crops a very easy practice? Can I just buy a piece of land and begin farming? Can a small land give me the yield of a big one? Let me give you an example. We have two men who are farmers. The first one named Samir has two hectares of land, while the other whose name is Ronan has four hectares of land. The former one invests in a tractor, fertilizers and many other types of equipment. The latter has land but cannot afford to buy any of these equipments. What would be the resulting yield? Samir had a higher quantity of crop produced even in his small piece of land. Ronan did not have the finances to help him make a profitable harvest. This example tells us that the inputs in farming are directly related to the yield of the land. Does higher the cost of production, better the yield. When a farmer has an ability to purchase high-end technological equipments, his cropping system varies and he can earn more from his land. Based on this monetary aspect of farming, there are three different types of production in farming. A production based on no cost at all. This is when a farmer does not invest in any equipments or farming paraphernalia to better his production. Second would be the low cost production and third is the high cost production. So what are the things that characterize this kind of production? On which level does a farmer need to invest in to enhance his yield? Three main components need to be taken into consideration while talking about crop production management. Firstly, let us look at nutrient management. Secondly, we must look at irrigation of the farms. Yes, water is a very important requirement for a farmer. And thirdly, we must look at the cropping patterns. Let us look at the first one in this video. What do we mean by nutrient management? How can we manage the nutrient intake of plants? We all require food for our growth and survival. We also choose food items we need the most and eat those nutrients which our body lacks. Similarly, plants too need a variety of nutrients. They generally need about 16 nutrients in all. From where do you think they get these nutrients? Plants are in contact with the air, water and soil. It must be these very places which provide them with nutrients. If that is so, what nutrients do you think air will provide plants with? We have studied in lower grades that plants require both oxygen and carbon dioxide. These nutrients are provided to the plants by air. What about water? Take a guess. Let me give you a hint. These are the components that make the water molecule. Hydrogen, oxygen. Yes, H2O tells us that water provides plants with hydrogen and oxygen. Let us look at soil. Soil provides plants with many nutrients. Some of them are required in large quantities by plants, while some are required in smaller quantities. The ones which are required in larger quantities are called as macronutrients, while the smaller quantity ones are called as micronutrients. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulphur are the macronutrients, while iron, manganese, boron, zinc, copper, molybdenum and chlorine are micronutrients. So how can we enhance crop production? We must first see to it that the plants get all these nutrients. If nutrients are deficient, then the plant is susceptible to many diseases and it can affect growth as well as their reproduction. Nutrient management is an important aspect of crop production management. But how can we add nutrients to the soil? We will look at that in our next video.